Hello, this is Paul Shearer with InformedCIO.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at SQL Server disk performance. So the question that's got to have been out there in your mind is the really bad performance that I'm getting off my database server due to the underlying disk subsystem. Your SAN people insist that the disks are fine, they've checked the switch ports, they're seeing no errors, they're seeing no bottlenecks, it's got to be your server. You're sure it's got to be the SAN. Really simple way to find out. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open up SQL Management Studio. We're going to go ahead, expand out uh, our databases, open up a new query, and we're going to issue the following command. We're going to tell it that we want to back up the database. Uh, we're going to give it the database name, but we're going to back it up to a null device. What this is going to do is force it to go through and from every data file that comprises the database, it's going to force it to read every page. But since we're backing it up to null, it won't write that backup anywhere. So in essence, it's doing a full read of the database and it's going to tell us what our performance was. So let's go ahead and execute this. While this is executing, you know, best practices, data file on RAID 5, temp DB and transaction log on separate RAID 10 spindles, avoid trying to over-optimize your database uh, on your data files, put them all together on the same physical drive, put as many spindles underneath them as possible. Okay, here we go. And as you can see, our database consisted of uh, three files and it tells us how many pages it did from each of the files, but most importantly is this very bottom line. It gives us the total number of pages it read, how many seconds it took, most importantly this last number, 108 megabytes per second. Now typically speaking for a SQL Server, anything 200 megabytes per second and greater is, is really good speed. Um, for this particular demo, this is being done on a VMware server, and the underlying disk architecture is basically uh, two physical spindles set up in a RAID 0 stripe. Uh, so I've got no redundancy, that's how I'm achieving the phenomenal speeds for a lab box that I've got here. For a real production server that, you're, that your enterprise is running against, you're going to want much better performance than I showed here though. If you're getting under 150 megabytes a second, go back to your SAM people and ask them why and make it their hot potato instead of yours. This has been Paul Shear with InformedCIO.com wishing you a great day. Bye.